I'm an independent art writer, facilitator, and a co-founder of a nomadic curatorial collective based in Istanbul, San Francisco, and London called Collective Kujuma. Uh, so my practice is mostly based on my curiosity on about how collective practices work, especially in arts and arts writing and curating. Um, I would say I'm very much interested in, in expanding the art terminology. So we're, we're also like um, um, experimenting on what we understand from curating because it's a very limited um, definition by, by force by the art institutions or the mainstream arts uh, movement. So as a collective, we're also expanding and welcoming more diverse voices and, and people into curating and saying it's not about only collections and, and artifacts, but it's about our relationships and how we work as, as communities. So it's more relational and more caring than rather than just organizing and facilitating. So I'm mostly um, gazing and researching of the, the collective movement at the moment because it's very on the rise. I would say that curatorial practices is just really diverse at the moment and we are redefining them and, and also redefining the art history when it comes to curating and, and, and collaborating. When we talk about queer representations in these curatorial practices, I would say it's, it's very diverse when we just look at different locations and different geographies. But I, I really believe that um, queer representation is very much in the current discourses in arts, which is incredible. But of course, we have a lot of uh, work to do. There are many queer representations in the current um, art movements, but we need way more um, diverse um, uh, possibilities that we can discuss and further investigate and further support the ones that were in need and needs more representation, especially when it comes to um, trans rights and, and of course queer rights and all LGBTQ plus movements in uh, various regions, of, including my hometown, uh, Turkey. More needs to happen in, in every different um, uh, methodology that or the fields that we are um, facing in arts because nowadays the arts happen in every part of our lives so it's not only happening in the arts institutions or special events but it is happening through politics through our sociocultural um, relations so that's that's why i was referring that it's it's our duty to do more to do to, to mention way more um, um, strongly, even passionately. I think COVID period um, taught us a lot um, as practitioners that lived in different countries. So since 2019, where I just moved to London from Istanbul, uh, we had to work online regardless of the, of the pandemic. So we were already investigating how we can continue our collective and community work through online, communities and online um, uh, platforms and which, which ones are more um, uh, useful, but also very welcoming and which ones were more challenging. Through these online meetings, I luckily met so many interesting and incredible human beings in various cities around the world and we're still in contact. So of course, this is just like kind of Puts, uh, puts you in a different position as a curator or a facilitator to understand that maybe after this, it's not gonna be the same and we have to think about other ways of getting together. Art curating and organizing arts events that we always think about who's gonna join us. So we always have this idea that every is, is open to all, it's free, everyone can join, but you, we take granted of people's everyday life. It's, it's actually very, very difficult for so many people to access laptops, access Wi-Fi, to have like certain times for themselves, to have a certain clarity, to just organize their daily life. There's, I think, a technical, financial, financial, and also um, uh, psychological, even mental support is needed when we organize things um, um, online. We want the future to be um, more open to failures and more open to pro progress and process rather than an outcome. So I think within the collective practices, now we're learning actually to enjoy the moment rather than uh, just producing a product.
for institutional uh, systems. So I, I'm really hopeful that um, as, we, as we talk about it with the queer practices being uh, quite visible, the collective practices being in the mainstream uh, art movements, this is of course very hopeful for, for imagining imagining our futures and what type, what kind of a world we want to produce art and what type of a world we want to live in. It's also very much in link to, of course, political movements and, and regional um, uprisings and, of course, being loud and, and bold about what we're doing because we're also experimenting and trying to unlearn so many things that was imposed to us and redefining the things that we're not happy about. So it is... Um, quite a work, but as we, as we um, move on to a, a new understanding in arts, I really believe that um, it's, it's going to be a very exciting time that we can actually support each other and create micro economies where we can have our own programs and rather than just waiting and just competing with each other for, um, for um, doing the things that we need.